Hey everyone, Talking Dave over here, the dorky talking black guy that's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of the Gato Dentist Flashback. To commemorate over 25 years of the franchise, I'm taking it upon myself to share my memories of playing the games in the arcade and home consoles at that period of time, and as well as share my thoughts and feelings on other Gato Dentist related media. Well, Gato Dentist to the new battle OVA was amazeballs and like basically was highly successful. And with the and not only was that successful, but the other video games, Gal Dead Sets 2 and Gal Dead Special, were highly popular and profitable. And as well, a lot of SNK's fighting titles were released. So basically, they felt very confident that they brought out another anime. Only this time, this anime was actually not an OVA. It was a higher production, you know, animated movie released in Japan. Hence the title, Garo Dead Sets, the, uh, the animated movie, or Fatal Fury, the animated movie, however you want to translate it, you know. Well, this is my video, so I'm calling it Garo Dead Sets, the, the movie, right? So, after being pimped by Krauser in his attempt to avenge Terry in the previous OVA, Joe Higash has recovered and is back in the square ring to actually, like, you know, def to try to regain his Muay Thai championship, which he does in defeating Hua Jai. During his after party, you know, he, re he reconnects with some old acquaintances and basically a new acquaintance and, and all and everybody is having a good time when the party is crashed by a group of mysterious masked figures and defeating most of the figures one of them ends up being one of their acquaintances Cheng Shinhan and confused of why Cheng would actually attack them they meet up with a young woman named Sulia who informs them to come to uh, Rhodes, a Greek island, and explains to them that basically her brother is looking for the armor of Mars, an armor that was what well, was worn by Alexander the Great in his conquest of the world. But he has actually, like you know, he relinquished at the end in fear of basically the power of that armor. Now her older, now her twin brother, who she shares a mental connection with is trying to obtain all the pieces of that armor and is trying to stop him from doing so because everyone who wears that armor has this ambitious has this ambition it bestowed upon them to take over the world and be actually a destructive dictator. Uh yeah, that was a weak explanation of the plot, you know everything, but you know basically like all the other movies, this plot is weak, but it had a little bit more to it and everything. However, as you go through the review, you'll understand why I put such a little stock into this plot. You see, this was a big budgeted anime and everything. This was like, well, this one was supposed to be the one that had the most detail with it. And the one that basically was going to be enjoyed by everyone, especially since New Battle did so well, you know. So, where does it fall and what made it fall? Now, I have to be honest, all of my, when I watched this, when I first initially watched this, I loved it and everything. And it was really cool that most of my closer friends and my dojo brethren loved this one as well too. But over the years, you start to notice some things and everything. First, let's go with the positives and everything. This one, all the fighters up until, uh, all the fighters that have been previously displayed are pretty much in this. You know, we have everyone that was in God of Dead Special, they make an appearance here and everything. Plus, we get an interesting cameo of one character from the original Gato Dentist game. You know. The fight sequences. In this. In this movie. Are 
excellent. You know, this is a huge step up from the previous OVA, and the previous OVA's fight sequences were pretty damn good and everything. We have a good villain in this, in the likes of Lao Kun, the one that's actually trying to collect all of the armors, all, all the pieces to the armor of Mars and everything. You know, Lao Kun is actually, you know, he... He doesn't have the coolness of Krauser, but he is a more subtle and dangerous villain than Geese Howard was and everything. You know? Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, and his henchmen and everything. You know, Jamin, Howler, and I keep forgetting the other chick and everything, but they are all highly capable fighters and everything. Plus, we get to travel the world a little bit more, and we get... Better insights on Sulia, her connection with her mental connection with her brother, and her having powers and everything. You know, so I just mentioned all this good stuff. Where does this fall apart? And the execution, because while this is bigger budgeted and everything, it still falls into some of the trappings that the OVA did. Like I said, a lot of the characters from the games come back, and we see them. But they are extended cameos. And, you know, this was supposed to be the movie that ended up branching out Gattle Densets more to the masses and everything. Because remember, Gattle Densets, despite it being popular in Japan, it still had a niche following. It was a very strong niche following and everything, but it was still a niche following nonetheless. And... If you weren't already a fan of the game series or already a fan of the OVA, this did not sway you to be a fan of anything else. You know, now, this is an original story. This is totally not in canon with any of the video games, which is both a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing in the sense that basically it tries to take the characters and it tries to take the setting into a newer direction. What's bad about it is, you know, you're not really interested as much as in what goes on, the who, what, where, when, and highs, hows. You're more interested in basically seeing these characters fight somebody else and everything. I have to admit, while the music and the animation looks a little bit better and everything... It still kind of falls apart, you know, like the characters are, even though they're drawn a little more detail, they don't look as appealing nor as charming as they did in the other two animes. And those two OVAs, they were really, really normal run of the mill anime style and everything. So for this to have some of the detail, but not look as impressive, it's a bit of a letdown. The ending and everything, which is like, you know, one of the things that the one of the things that the new battle did was give us a thrilling fight at the very end. Here the end fight is not all that interesting and everything and all. You know. So I know this is going this is um making things short and everything, but like uh yeah God of Dead Sets and um movie and everything, you're basically running the same formula as the as the OVA, you know, you get more of the characters coming back, it was nice to see Richard Meyer in here, I will admit, it was nice to see Richard Meyer have more screen time, and as well as Duck King, you know, be up in here, and he has a different screen time, and to top it off, we got to see a another glimmer of that rivalry that I was talking about earlier between Andy and Billy. Those were nice nods and everything. Plus, we have basically uh, Rico, uh, um, Reiko actually, you know, a character from Samurai Showdown who has multiple appearances in here. But these are all SNK insider, you know, appreciations and everything. You know, the casual person is not going to care about these, you know. While those were nice to have. So we have unimpressive animation, animation, you know, while we have 
cool flight sequences. They are the bulk of this movie. We are not really engaged in the, uh, what you call them, in uh, the driving plot as much. The characters, while still cool, they've become, you know, a bit of lather, rinse, and repeat at this time. Guys, I have to say that God of Dead Sets, the motion picture, it's still cool and everything. While uh, it's more enjoyable than the original OVA, it does not hold up to the standard that, you know, the new battle did. And I really felt that this was a disappointment. Agree? Disagree? Drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me at Token Dave on Facebook or Token Dave 80 on Twitter. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, the Donkey Token Black Guy who's just trying to get by. And I'll catch you guys later.